Hey, a Mystic family. Mystic Unigon here, and welcome to my final Wednesday Wonderings of 2019. So, if you guys know the drill, I read off the question, answer it, and then I want you guys to answer it in the comments. This one will be easy, because it's only two questions. Now the first one is what has made you happiest this year? Or what is one thing that has made you happy this year? And for me, I would have to say all the new YouTube friends that I've made. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. You made me feel like part of a family and helped me get through some rough times. And I really, truly appreciate that. Question number two, and I'm sorry, but this one's going to be kind of long. What is one thing that has annoyed the crap out of you all year? And that could be something that maybe happened once and you just can't stop thinking about it, or something that's kind of been ongoing all year. For me, it's the latter. It's been going on all year. In fact, apparently it's been going on since 2017. I did not realize it. Because I've looked it up and there are other videos of people complaining about this exact thing. What is it, you ask? Well, first of all, how many of you listen to Pandora Radio, me, without paying for premium, me, because, yeah, can't afford that. Meaning you got, you're, you're stuck listening to the ads, but eh, it is what it is. And most of the times, they're really not that bad. But when you hear the same stupid jingle from the same company for months on end. Ugh, talk about making you want to scream bloody murder. Now, I know companies make the ads and they pay the platform to play them, but they need to keep updated. The same ad should not be playing on a radio station, or on a music station, for more than a few months. Because, yeah. And, like, I don't get really mad about things that easily. Except work, obviously, but that's a whole another topic. Um, but this ad has literally gotten me to the point of cussing, and that's bad. <laughs> I don't want to, but I do. So here it goes. I'm not playing the ad because, yeah, I've heard it enough times, and it makes me wish I was deaf. Usually when I, when it comes on, I will Turn the volume button down or just rip my earbud or rip my plug out from my earbud so I don't have to listen to it and it basically stops the station anyway. But the ad is for Tide laundry detergent. Now, I don't like the smell of Tide. I think it stinks. So that's just my opinion on that. But the first two lines of of it are a coffee stain on my white shirt and it's a guy singing it and apparently the whole story is he's going on a date and or he's on a date and he's got a coffee stain on his shirt now my assumption which they don't really explain is that he got the stain while he was on the date first of all wearing a white shirt is asking to get it stained so that's just kind of a stupid move. 
Second of all, how's laundry detergent going to help you when you have a stain on your shirt and you're out in public? Um, don't they still make the Tide pen? Last I checked, they do. Heck, I remember when that came out and was such a huge thing and everybody wanted to get one and keep it in their purse or whatever, have it with them. Because, shoot, you never know when you're going to need it. Heck, the woman he was dating should have had one in her purse. But anyway, when those first few lines come on, this is my reaction before I turn the volume down. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's literally what I do every time. Or I'm just like, oh my god, not again. So yeah, it pisses me off every time I hear it. Because it's annoying as hell, and it's non-stop. It has literally been non-stop. Now, there was a brief period of time, maybe a month or so, where they had another ad in replacement, and it was a chick getting a mustard stain on her skirt or something. But then they took it off and just kept going with that one. And I'm like, what the heck is their problem? It was annoying, too. I'm just like, chick, you need a, you need a freaking Tide pen. These ads don't make any sense. Detergent is not going to help you when you're on a date and you get a stain on your shirt. Or, or getting a stain on your skirt, you're out in public and you got to go to a meeting. Like... At least on a skirt, if it's up high enough and you have a long enough coat, you can cover it. So, you kind of okay there, but on a shirt where everybody's going to see it, then yeah, you're kind of screwed. But get a pen! Get a tie pen! That is what they're there for. So yeah, that ad. Oh my god. Tide. And I've tweeted Tide like twice about this. That it's been driving me absolutely up the wall, and obviously they've ignored both. And I've even tagged Pandora Radio in it, too. And they've ignored it, and it's like, I know they can't do anything about it, so it's not their fault. It's Tide's fault. Get some new material, guys. You don't need a dumb jingle to sell your products. People, If people want it, they're gonna buy it. You don't have to make up dumb jingles like that that really don't make sense. Why don't... If you're gonna do that, just... You know, advertise the pen again. Make people want it again. Make Because I bet you anything... I bet you anything people have forgotten about it. And hey, could use a reminder. Because man, I've gotten one before and it does work. It's great. It is a great product. But yeah. That ad needs to die. If I hear it next year, I'm going to fucking scream. No joke. So, that's the end of that rant. What's annoyed the crap out of you guys this year? Let me know in the comments. And let me know what's made you happy. Thank you for watching.